Lesson 2.3c, writing a small number in standard notation from scientific notation. To translate between scientific notation and standard notation with very small numbers, we can move the decimal point the number of places indicated by the exponent on the power of 10. When the exponent is negative, move the decimal point to the left. Here we have 2 and 13 hundredths times 10 raised to the negative third power. We're going to move this decimal point to the left three jumps. One, two, three. It's going to place it right there. So we have two zeros on the right side of the decimal point, and then we have the two. We put a zero in the ones place, and we use zeros as placeholders when needed. In scientific notation, the first factor is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, and the second factor is a power of 10. Since it's a negative number, we know 2 and 13 hundredths is larger than if it's written in standard notation. The radius of a classical electron is 2 and 82 hundredths times 10 to the negative 15th meter. Write this in standard notation. Step 1, we use the exponent of the power of 10 to see how many places to move the decimal point. We know it's 15 places. Step 2, we place the decimal point. Since we're going to write a number less than 2 and 82 hundredths, we're going to move the decimal point to the left and add placeholder zeros if necessary. We need to go 15 hops all the way over to here. And there are 14 zeros between the decimal point and the 2. We know that 2 and 82 hundredths times 10 raised to the negative 15th power is written with 14 zeros and then a 282 in standard notation. I don't want to have to read this decimal number. You get the point. Here it's asking if it's written in scientific notation. If it is, we need to circle it. The easiest way to tell is to look if there's a digit, a decimal point, and a digit. And this does have that set up. We know that this is greater than 1 or equal to 1 and less than 10. This is written in scientific notation. But as I said, we can quickly look to see if it goes digit, decimal point, digit. Here we have a 0. That doesn't count. It's got to be greater than or equal to 1, so that's not scientific notation. Look here. We have a digit, a digit, then a decimal, then a digit, so that's not scientific notation. Here we have three digits and then the decimal point. That's not scientific notation. Here we have digit, decimal, digit, yep, and it's greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, so that is scientific notation. Look at here. We have a zero, then a decimal, then a zero. That is not scientific notation. The decimal would have been back here. So that's not scientific notation. The first factor of scientific notation has a digit in the ones place and a decimal point and a digit in the tenths place. And this cannot be zero. We can't have 0.7. It's got to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. Here it's asking us which number is larger, 4 times 10 to the negative 5th power or 5 times 10 to the negative 4th power. Well, we can answer this question without needing to write each scientific notation to standard notation. We simply compare their exponents. Negative 4 is greater than negative 5, so 5 times 10 to the negative 4th power that's the greater exponent, is the larger number. Negative 4 is closer to 0 on a number line, so it's greater than negative 5. So this 10 raised to the negative 4th power is automatically the larger number. Here it's telling us to write it in standard notation. We have 2.074 times 10 raised to the negative 4th power. We see this negative exponent, and no, we're going to jump four spaces to the left. That's going to give us 0 
Here we have 8 and 3 tenths times 10 raised to the negative 6 power. We see this negative 6 power and know we're going to jump 6 spaces to the left. That's going to give us 0 0.0000083 in standard notation. To avoid errors when moving the decimal point, draw arrows and count a second time to check. Here we have 4 and 2 tenths times 10 raised to the negative 9th power. We need to move it 9 jumps. That means we have 8 zeros here. We have four zeros and four zeros. So we make sure when we're writing it in standard form that we have eight zeros before we write the four two. We double check to make sure we don't make a mistake. We're finished with 2.3c. We're going to move on to d. And in this lesson just now, we did a little comparing of small numbers. In 2.3d, we're going to be comparing very small numbers. We'll go a little further into it. Just remember, that first factor of scientific notation has a digit in the ones place, and it can't be a zero. It's got to be one or more, a decimal point, and then a digit in the tenths place. I hope you have a great day, and join me for Part D. Bye.